right, friends. Welcome to Harry Shores Prepping. I'm your host, Greg. A whole big news cycle happening right now. No doubt you've heard Trump was indicted by the corrupt DA and uh, the poison money from Soros. Doesn't make any difference to me. They're all corrupt and uh, they do not care about justice. That is unequivocally clear across the United States and especially in the Department of Justice. Trump's indicted. He says, well, maybe Tuesday I'll turn myself in. I don't know. We'll see. The Secret Service has a lot to say about that because they are still in control of a recently former sitting president. Make no mistake about that. Will there be a chance for photo ops in Trump, Trump in handcuffs? I don't know. I seriously doubt it. Will there be a chance for photo ops with Trump being indicted, absolutely. Will Trump make the best of that in a, in a rally cry, take back America? You can bet on it. Will people run to that flag of Trump in the United States? Now that they see the two justice systems with Hillary Clinton paying for the Russia, Russia delusion collusion, and all she gets is a fine and not arrested for destroying 33,000 subpoena emails and everything else. Yeah, that's becoming really clear. With Hunter Biden still walking around free as free as you please with corrupt money being unveiled, especially the $1.3 million given to him by the Chinese. Yep. People are waking up now and seeing the two systems of justices and who is behind that. Joe Biden made no, made no mistake about saying he wanted Trump arrested to silence his political opposition. That's what dictators do in communist countries, and that's where we're at right now, in my opinion. We are definitely headed in that direction, and we are already two steps into it. Do I see conflict in the future between the liberals and the conservatives? Yes. I have no doubt about it. Will it escalate? Quite possibly. Will Joe Biden activate, in general terms, the National Guard of the military? They've already purged the conservatives out of the military, have not replaced them. So, yes, that will be one thing he may do. Will they follow the command? Millie has no problem betraying Trump or the American people, so yes, he would. Same with that corrupt, incompetent Lloyd Austin. He absolutely will. Anthony Blinken, <coughs> make no mistake about it. He has sold America out, <coughs> as well as Joe Biden. What do I expect from American people? Most people... We'll sit back and say, let's see where this plays out. A few people that incited the riot on January 6th. And by the way, did you see the shaman is now released out of prison due to the uh, videos? Sorry, I was off camera. Due to the videos released by Kevin McCarthy showing he was escorted around by the Capitol Police. That whole thing was a sham. We know it's a sham, but that's a perfect example of the two justice fraudulent system here in the United States. If you are a conservative, Christian, Trump follower, absolutely. Matt Taibbi, testifying before Jim Jordan in the House Committee, received a visit from an IRS agent personally at his house the day of testimony. Think that was an intimidation to be quiet, shut up, or we're going to audit you? This is how this government is working, through intimidation, through censorship, through false imprisonment. Yeah. I think people are saying, I've about had enough of this. It is time to clean out Washington, and let's start over. Does that come in the form of, American national divorce, possibly. Succession, possibly. Civil war, very good possibility. I would give it probably better than 50-50 odds if I were to do it. Yeah. And if, and if the left escalates it to that point 
where they stopped throwing eggs at Trump rallies and people supporting Trump in the streets and unleashing Antifa, I think lead will fly. And then Joe Biden will step in and say, we got to squash this. We cannot tear ourselves apart. We're going to arrest everybody that has a gun and unleash the ATF on it like they're doing now. The quite bigger news than Trump being indicted is what's happening with the petrodollar, and you're not paying attention, and neither is the press. The Chinese and Brazil just signed an agreement to trade in each other's co uh, currencies and bypassing the American dollar. That just cost the United States $56 billion in trade units. What is the reaction from the White House? Zero. Not a peep. Brazil is China's largest trading partner, and they're saying, yeah, we'll, we'll pay you in the uh, yuan, and we'll reverse that, buy from you, and pay you in reals. Other South American countries are lining up to do the same thing, especially the ones that are now taken over by the socialist and communists. That means El Salvador, Nicaragua, Argentina, Venezuela, Chile, and quite possibly even Ecuador. And let's play, pray for our friends down in Ecuador whose currency is the dollar. So let's pray for them. They just had tremendous landslides and earthquakes there. We have a friend that watches this channel down in Ecuador. Let's pray for them and our friend to make sure they are okay. We also have India now trading with Russia in Russian oil. India, who supposedly is an ally, which is questionable at best, is bypassing the sanctions on placed on Russia for the Ukrainian war. They are buying them and paying them in rubles. Russia has agreed to buy from India and paying them in rupees, bypassing the petrodollar. That agreement has cost the United States over a hundred billion dollars in trade units. How much more does this have to shape up for people to wake up and say, do you think that the, all the tra train derailments, the sabotage on the power grid, the sabotage on our food processing plants, the open borders with 900% increase in Chinese nationals coming across the border may have something to do with all of this, including the perfect storm of Trump arrest, the collapse of the American dollar, and the sabotage that is potentially happening and going to happen in the United States. Do you think we are prepared for that? Mayorkas came out and said we need to ban all assault-type weapons. He couldn't even explain what it is, but he's in favor of that, as well as all the other Biden cabinet picks. Janet Yellen, the complete incompetent former Treasury Secretary, is also saying we have to go green, sabotaging the American economy. Do you see where this is all headed? The collapse of America. Is Trump the fuse to, to set that off? Quite possibly. If I were you and you are not prepping and you're watching this, you better wake up and start. You better start with securing food long term. You better start by securing guns if you're legally, legally allowed to own them. Invest in the future currency, 556 or 769 lead plenty of it. Get it while you can. That may soon go out of existence should civil strife erupt. MREs, dehydrated food, all going up tremendously. Stock up while you can now. I would be looking at precious metals, gold, silver, if you can afford it. Silver took a huge jump the other day. It's now $23 and change. Friends, it's coming. The storm of events will hit America, as well as the gay and transgender mafia targeting Christians. No matter what age, sex, size you are, doesn't make any difference to these people. You have a target on your back. 
In closing, I would invite you to take Jesus Christ into your heart immediately. Repent of your sins. Be on the right side of what is coming. The lawless one, lawless one is here in the United States, and he will be unleashing further lawlessness. Your only defense is to get Jesus Christ into your heart. Repent of your sins. Become born again by baptized, submerged in water and pray for our country. I can't find anything in scripture says United States survives the end times. You think about that. Thank you for liking and subscribing to this channel. I really do thank you. I really do appreciate you. I welcome you. I invite you to leave your comments and your thoughts as always. Greg out.